Hey, what's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. This question is asking a prism ABC is configured such that the angle BCA is 90 degree and angle CBA equal to 45 degree. What is the minimum value of the, its index of refraction if while immersed in air a beam traveling phase AC is to be totally internally reflected from phase BC? Now let's draw the diagram for this one first so first we have a prism so that's going to look like this right and the angle that ABC actually BCA is 90 degrees so let's draw a 90 degree right here so this is 90 degree and this should be B this should be C and this is A and the next thing they are saying that CBA is 45 degree so if I say C B A, so this one, if we connect these two together, this one should be 45 degree. Okay, now uh, we have the diagram, and the question is asking, what is the minimum value of index of refraction if while immersed in air, a beam traveling phase A C, AC is to be totally internally reflected from phase BC. So let's draw a normal. The question is asking if a light travel travel through this one and hit this phase BC to be totally internally reflected. Okay, what is the value of index of refraction we should have for this one for this prism? So the question is asking for n value. Now here in order to totally internally reflect it what we have to have is this ray should never hit this BA right so it should almost be, be has to be parallel to this one so if you draw a line like this so actually it should be parallel so if we draw a line like this and we know that this is 45 degree right because this is 90 this if this is 45 de degree this one also 45 degree so if this is 45 degree this one also 45 degree right so 45 degree if this is 45 degree this one also 45 degree because we have a z zip and both of them are parallel so this is if this is 45 degree this is 45 degree so angle of incidence is 45 degree and to be totally internally reflected it means we have to have a critical angle right here critical angle is basically 90 degree 90 degree to the normal right so 90 degree to the normal it means theta tree transmitted angle should be equal to 90 degree right so when we have transmitted angle 90 degree Whatever the incident angle that is making this transmitted angle 90 degree, we call that one critical angle. So here the incident angle is 45 degree, right? So this is 45 degree and that is making this one 90 degree. So this one, the critical angle here is 45 degree. Now we have these two values. Also index of refraction of air is going to be 1. Now we have this information so we can go ahead and use Snell's law to find out the index of refraction of this prism okay now let's go ahead and create the equation Snell's law and uh, we know that Snell's law is n incident angle sine theta incident is equal to n whatever the I mean whatever the index of refraction we have that's transmitted index of refraction here we have air right so this is going from prism to air so we can directly put air right here n a and sine theta transmitted and we know that sine theta transmitted here is 90 degree so we can get rid of this one because this is equal to 1 and uh, sine theta incident we know that that is 45 degree so this is sine theta sine 45 degree 
equal to index of refraction of AR is 1 and if I bring this NA to the other side that's going to divide actually that's what we are trying to find right so it's better to keep it like this and solve this one so this is going to be Ni is equal to N this one Na and index of refraction of AR also 1 so we can put Ni is equal to 1 over sine 45 degree so sine 45 degree is 1 over root 2 and therefore this is going to be root 2 so index of refraction of this one this prism is going to be root 2 and if if you calculate this one that's going to give you 1.41 and that's going to be our final answer i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time